All right, SCP video. I like reacting to these. This one is called uh, SCP-2107. Diet Ghost. Trademark. The thumbnail is a soda. It's a Euclid class. Liquid Ghost SCP. I don't know, but we're about to find out what this is. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check this out. All right, here we go. It's about the Vulcan, by the way. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello there. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2107. Object class, Euclid. Okay. Special containment procedures. Yep. All instances of SCP-2107 are to be stored in a CNSI, Compact Non-Sentient Inert Containment Locker at Site-19. Any number of instances may be moved to a refrigerated CNSI unit in advance of experimental trials. Okay. Mobile Containment Task Force Theta-61, carbonation-based lifeforms, is responsible for coordinating routine screenings for new instances of SCP-2107 at retail venues, which are considered probable locations for appearance. Newly okay. discovered instances are to be acquired by conventional methods when possible. For larger quantities, or in cases where a retailer's proprietor is deemed likely to become problematic, Acquisition Protocols 0014, Covert Theft, 0015, Overt Theft, and 0047, Impersonation of Federal Agency, may be utilized with authorization from staff with Security Clearance 32107 or higher. Mm. Individuals exposed to the anomalous properties of SCP-2107 are to be treated with Class A amnestics and remitted to the nearest civilian hospital for any medical care rendered necessary following exposure. Okay. Description. SCP-2107 designates a soft drink brand known as Diet Ghost TM, which displays anomalous properties when imbibed. SCP-2107 has, to date, only been encountered packaged by the individual can, hmm. with three to seven minutes of ingestion Subjects, classified SCP-2107-A, begin to experience paranormal activity that most often falls within the colloquial expectations of an individual being haunted by a ghost or other paranormal entity. So if I drink Diet Ghost, I see a ghost. Alright. The effect continues until an as-of-yet undetermined point in the breakdown of SCP-2107 within the subject's body, approximately one to three hours after ingestion. Research has confirmed that the intensity of the haunting effect, herein defined by the quantity of individual paranormal facets, the probability of physical harm, and the severity of said harm, is directly proportional to the quantity of SCP-2107 imbibed. SCP-2107 cans are the traditional variety used for soft drinks being uniform in design and non-anomalous in composition and behavior. The can features a light blue background with the Diet Ghost TM logo prominently featured. The can's phrase, scare your thirst, appears beneath the logo. Most instances also have a sticker on the can with the text, made with natural ghosts printed on it. It is made with natural ghost. Okay. That's something. Out of all the things in this thing is happening, natural ghost. It's the thing. You gotta put natural ghost in diet ghost. I'm sorry. Like, I can't taste ghosts without it be natural. I'm sorry. Just can't. I'm not gonna buy it. It's unclear if cans lacking this sticker were distributed this way or if the sticker was removed before acquisition. The cans bear no nutritional information. The liquid contents are non anomalous in chemical composition and within normal parameters for a traditional diet soft drink. Discovery Initial discovery occurred on 05-13-2012 when seven cans of SCP-2107 were purchased by Foundation personnel at a local supermarket in a redacted location during a routine restocking of Site-19's recreational facilities. The partial remains of T, a senior maintenance assistant at Site-19, 
were found inside the van requisitioned from Site-19's vehicle pool for the purposes of the trip. Two cans were open and empty of contents when recovered. B, the junior maintenance assistant who had been assigned with T for the restocking duty, had gone back into the supermarket after having forgotten to procure a copy of the receipt of purchase for Foundation Records. According to B's account, T was alone for no longer than approximately five minutes. Hmm. A majority of discoveries have occurred in convenience stores, with acquisitions from supermarkets and restaurants accounting for nearly all additional cases. Employees of retail locations where instances have been discovered have professed no prior knowledge of the product's existence, and records of inventory acquisition have shown no references to SCP-2107. SCP-2107 has now been recovered from retailers in 37 states and two Canadian provinces. Production and distribution of SCP-2107 is currently under investigation. You know what would be hilarious too is that the, they, like, they're going to the store and they see this thing. Some kid was just like, oh, Diet Ghost? I gotta try this out. Mom, give me Diet Ghost. And then Mom was just like, are you sure? I've never seen this before. Like, what is Diet Ghost? I don't know, but it's just Diet Ghost. It's cool. It's probably like just Coke. It's like, okay. I mean, you better drink it. So we, and he drinks it, and then his whole evening is fucked. <laughs> because in a kid's mind, like, oh, maybe there's like a toy ghost in there at the end of the drink, like in some like breakfast cereals. No, man, you are seeing ghosts, kid. <laughs> It's over. SCP-2107, abridged experiment logs. Level 2 security clearance required. Trial number 1. Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested, 30 milliliters. Result. Duration of trial was 1 minute and 12 seconds. Subject reported audiovisual phenomena, including having her name spoken softly, shadowy figures at the edge of her vision and a flickering of the lights within the containment chamber that was not corroborated by the recorded footage. Debriefing revealed the subject to have enjoyed the experience overall. The subject described the taste of SCP-2107 as bland but refreshing. I mean, it's diet, you know. They took the sugar out. Trial number six. Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested, 90 milliliters. Result. Subject experienced intermittent activity similar to the phenomena in previous experiments for over an hour before new effects presented. At 1 minute 20 seconds, the subject began to experience moderate bleeding from the nose without identifiable physical cause. Simultaneously, the recording equipment began to encounter interference of a magnetic nature that lasted for two minutes. This is noted as the first instance where activity was observable by non-SCP-2107-A sources in Foundation trials. The bleeding continued unabated for several minutes, causing severe distress to the subject. All effects ceased at 1 minute and 28 seconds. That's only 90 millimeters. Like, I'm drinking this. This is a mini Coke that I'm drinking right now. This has 222 milliliters in this, man. That is like... A small portion of this man, and you're bleeding? What happens if you drink this whole thing of Diet Ghost, dude? You are dead. I'm sorry. You're dead. Trial number 07. Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested, 90 milliliters. Result. Trial begins with activity patterns identical to those described by the subject in Trial 1. Subject's nose began to bleed at the 19 second mark. At 23 seconds, subject began emesis due to a combination of distress and nausea caused by the presence of their own blood. This is evaluated to be purely physiological in nature and non-anomalous. Following emesis, a majority of the activity ceased. Subject reported still having intermittent hallucinations in his peripheral vision until 48 seconds. Trial number 14. Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested. 150 milliliters. Result. Subject began to experience phenomena similar to previous trials at two seconds, which rapidly increased in intensity. The lights in the cell are seen to flicker briefly at 16 seconds by both the subject and supervising personnel. Subject reported the feelings of being lifted off the ground during this effect, but this is not visible in the footage. Quantity of activity is approximate to previous trials, 
but level of intensity is significantly higher as reported by subject. Effects began to subside at 54 seconds and had ceased entirely at 59 seconds. Subject observed taste as average but expressed difficulty in elaborating upon this description. Trial number 31. 31. Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested, 270 milliliters. Okay, so it's bigger than the one I have. So I don't know if it's like the regular size one. Maybe a little bit, uh, maybe a little smaller than it. Result. Subject experienced no activity until 31 seconds, at which point all electronics within a 10 meter radius failed for approximately 17 seconds. When power returned, subject had fallen to the ground unconscious and the trial was ended. Personnel entered the containment cell and confirmed the subject had expired. Wow. Upon autopsy, subject's body was found to be void of most major internal organs. No incision marks or signs of trauma were present. Bro, that thing just took away his internal organs by a, a drink took it away, dog. A drink. Just gulp, gone. Internal organs gone. Note. Future experiments are suspended without authorization from staff with security clearance for 2107. Addendum 1227-2014. Area personnel have encountered and acquired a previously undiscovered packaging variant. 15 cans were produced by a vending machine in area cafeteria. When the machine was opened for further inspection, no anomalous properties were discovered. These new instances of SCP-2107 feature changes to the design of the background, which now features white silhouettes of tombstones, cats, and cartoonish ghouls interspersed between iterations of the logo. Of note is the addition of new stickers to the can in the same font as the catchphrase text. These stickers include new promotional phrases including, from the makers of Ghost TM, 100% more spooky, Scared is faction guaranteed, and your old favorite is back. All instances of SCP-2107 from area are en route to Site-19 for containment and research trials to confirm whether their contents produce the same anomalous activity as previously recorded instances. The addition of vending machines to the list of Providence locations is under investigation, with revisions to object class and special containment procedures awaiting approval. Okay. I think that about does it for today. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that was a diet ghost, so I guess I won't be drinking that, you know. Go the ghost just took away his organs. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Is there any other SCPs you want me to react to? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you next time. Peace.